What is going on YouTube? This is Captain Grape Juice and I'm going to give you a tutorial of how to make a movie like a project. Okay. So you want to open my movie. Wanna create and pl click this plus and you can choose a trailer or just a project theme. So we're just gonna call it new project. Alright, so um so you, the only way to put uh audio in here not audio uh screen recording. So you want to go to the internet and go to YouTube. And let's just type in five it's at Freddy's. Um, this might be a little loud. But it was loud for me, but not loud for you, because I have my headphones on. So that was the screen. <clears throat> so what you want to do is you want to open QuickTime Player. And then you want to go to New Screen Recording. And then if you want to do something full screen, you click on this, go all the way to the beginning, and then you just kind of wait for this bar down here and your cursor to go away. Then you can play it. And then you can click out, you can go to stop recording, you can go to trim, you can trim it. And then you go to iMovie, you go to File, Import, Movies, you have to save it first. And then you go to, I choose uh, whatever I did today, I click on it, and then I click Import. It would show up with the movie here first. And so let's just do this real quick. I can't do it. Oh, darn. Okay. So, you might, if you want to do, like, more than one, like, a compilation of something, you can do that. Or you can, another way to get the actual audio of the, vi of the video, um, you can take the URL of the video, and you can go to a site called free online YouTube downloader you can paste it All right, let's just um let's find that video again So you just copy the URL, you paste it in here, you do download, and you want to do MP4, 
because that will give you the video and the audio. Or you can do um, audio. I don't know what 3GP, maybe that's just the video, but you just want to do MP4. And then you can do that and import it into iMovie. And once you finished your iMovie project, you go to Share, you go to Export using QuickTime. Now, it's going to, like, for a 5 to 8 uh, minute video, it's probably going to take at least 15 to 20 minutes, even though it says an hour, but it takes quicker. Um, like, a 10 to... 14 minutes that's going to be uh, 45 minutes to an hour total even though when it says an hour to two hours and once you get that all finished you can go back to YouTube you can click upload And I found out that you can only have your videos be 15 minutes long unless if you have more than a thousand subscribers. Let's see what this does. Increase your limit. Oh, you have to do all this. Interesting. So yeah, 15 minutes long. I thought it was 10. So you do select files to upload, and after you um, finish your iMovie project, it should say .mov, and that's why it can only read it, because it can't take any other videos, I don't think so. So you would click on it, you would say upload, you have to wait for it to finish processing, you can do descriptions, annotations, uh, just setting ideas, and then you can upload it. It may take a, a few minutes to actually put it onto your channel. And whenever I upload a video, I get an email saying that I successfully uploaded a video. And then I might get another video that has to do with copyright. And you just want to be careful about that copyright. If you're getting music onto your projects, um, you just want to, like for, uh, let's say, Zelda music. I would have to say, I do not own the music and it belongs to Nintendo and Koji Kondo. Koji Kondo is the music director or guy. And the way to get songs from YouTube like I have over here all these songs you take the URL of the song you don't want it to be 30 minutes long, not the extended version, the short original version. You want to download something called YouTube to MP3P or called Media Human. And so you open that up. And then you paste it, you download, you go into your finder. And then you go to today, and it should show the um, the uh, music downloaded. You want to open up iTunes, drag it, and then import it to iTunes. And iMovie is already connected with iTunes, so you should get it all here. 
And so that is it to this video. I hope this all helped. I'll see you in the next video. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later.